Hi, my name's Yusuf. Uh, I'm a revert to Islam. I've been uh, a revert now for two and a half years. Uh, after studying the Quran for about three years before this, um, it's a fantastic, beautiful religion, which I think people don't really, the general public in England especially, don't really understand the religion and it's very difficult to explain to people who are in basically a western trap um, the the reasons I reverted to Islam uh, it's difficult to actually pinpoint one in particular but it was possibly dissatisfaction with the uh, economic system of this country and the rapid decline in the models and values of the people in this country Gen generally uh, not in particular any individuals uh, <coughs> I'm 47 I've, uh, I'm divorced with three children and alhamdulillah Two of my children are Muslim, um, and that's been—it's been very difficult for us as a family, even though I'm divorced, to actually practice re uh, the religion from where we were living in the past, which is in the north of England, in Carlisle, and uh, in Carlisle there's only one mosque, and that's heavily Bangladeshi. Um, before I started going to the mosque I actually studied Islam and tried to practice Islam within my own home um, basically because of the lack of support within the Muslim Ummah for reverts uh, and especially English reverts what I noticed in what I have noticed in this country is the uh, cultural influence on Islam rather than the basic Islam, which I am particularly interested in, and I'm particularly interested, obviously, in the revert population in this country and and trying to trying to propagate Islam to the white white uh, black community English community um, fortunately I've had the experience of meeting brothers from Nigeria from Libya from Morocco from France from various parts of Europe who practice Islam in a more modern acceptable way to myself because basically being a Muslim it starts in your heart and then it develops into your everyday life into your actions and into your the way you treat people um, obviously praying five times a day you're trying to build your relationship with Allah all the time uh, and the closer you get to Allah obviously the more comfortable you feel within your religion and um, your knowledge of Islam increases day by day um, basically the Quran is my lifeblood uh, the Quran and the Sunnah my lifeblood and I want to in the future inshallah I want to help people in a way that I think will be acceptable to them to people I don't necessarily think uh, you have to dress a certain way to be a Muslim obviously we try and follow the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but after after this, it's a, it's 
really down to the individual it's a character building religion which uh, if your intentions are right Allah will bless you in your in your actions in your work in your life generally um, obviously I'm a, what you could call a baby to Islam but inshallah my knowledge will increase and I'm looking forward to the future in this country and possibly in another country uh, i.e. Morocco or Libya to develop my understanding of Islam um, we have to be very positive about the future and we don't necessarily have to accept the media's portrayal of Muslims we have to propagate Islam in the way which we believe is right and if we follow the Prophet Sunnah and the Quran we have the best help that we possibly could get um, really I'm uh, not happy with the situation globally um, but we need to really I believe we need to come together as an Ummah uh, and get back to the basics of Islam and not to get involved or uh, as little as possible in the Western culture uh, because I can see as a, as a revert I can see that the the people the generally the people who are born into Islam uh, are not totally being faithful to the religion i.e. the taking out mortgages car loans things like this which we know are totally haram but as I say I am not perfect myself and I'm trying to learn things every day and inshallah the future is bright for the Muslims um, and actually I'm running out of time now so I'm gonna have to cut this uh, video down but I'll probably be on sometime in the future thank you very much Salam alaikum Allah mag.